Sonny, first of all, congratulations. It was flawless. What does it feel like? What does it feel like to be the world flyweight champion? Nothing less than I expected, Steve. I've been saying it the whole way through. It was a very quiet build-up. Obviously, me and Murray were friends before. Hopefully, he's still my friend now. Um, but I knew it would be hard. I knew it would be hard. Not too dissimilar to my Samba fight. Maybe a little bit harder. Um, he was very good at closing the gap down. If I'm honest, I had it about 7.584. The 120-108 didn't really give him a chance. So I weren't a fan of that scorecard, but I feel like I deserved to win. I feel like they knew I deserved to win their corner. They said that I won, so I'm over the moon. The Ring Magazine number one, I told you. It might not be pretty all the time. It might not be exciting all the time, but I'm very, very hard to beat. I'm sure Marotti will join the rest of the the opponents I beat and say that. I hit him hard enough to keep him off him, but my God, did he make me work there. My legs after that sixth round were tired like they've never been before, but Grant reminded me, kept reminding me my kid's name every couple of rounds. That's when you know he's not going the best, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's a rocket When you get house, the picture, but... out, the picture out, of your, of your child, that's, that's when you know. When Grant's showing you pictures of your kids and telling you about your kids, that's when you, that's when you know it's a tough fight. Yeah, that means the last round was close. <laughs> <laughs> After six rounds, it was almost perfect. I mean, it was, you, you, I don't think you put the foot wrong. Did you know he was going to keep putting the pressure on? If I'm honest, if I'm honest, after the sixth round, he come he come quick for seven and eight. And when I was I was tying him up well, I thought every time he closed me down, I was getting my head in an awkward position, getting my arms inside, I was frustrating him. But I could hear him start breathing, so I thought that's it. One more round this pace, two more round this pace, and he's going to start flagging. I think his sharpness fell in the last three rounds because in the the mid late rounds, I was trying to counter and he was blocking everything. And unless I was going through the middle first, I was finding it hard to score. But when I started letting them hands go through when he was sort of switching off, that's why I was scoring. And how tired were you ending the ninth going into the tenth? How tired were you? And also, were you worried then? Because you've been honest all the way through the build-up. You said it's going to go two ways. I want to give him a boxing lesson or he's going to walk right through me. You were quite, you were quite honest with it. Um, how worried were you about, about round 10 or 11? I don't know if you could see in there, but I weren't worried. No. You look calm. Where I've never, ever, ever been stopped... I've only ever been put down the two times the BT viewers have seen, and both times they was when I was switching off. Getting stopped isn't in my thought process yet, and hopefully for the rest of my career it's not. Even when I was getting clipped, I know what to do, I know how to open up the gap, and then I had to keep him at distance. When he was succeeding, he weren't doubling up or tripling up on excess, I was closing him down and making it hard for him. Did he hurt you, catch you, wobble you, stun you? Um, not at particularly. Any point? Not hurt, you know what I mean. Yeah. Did, did, did. He made my ears do that little ding a couple of times, but... Most opponents do in those little eight ounce gloves, but to be fair, he must have something wrong with his hands because those winnings are soft as pillows. So when he was catching, it's like all the padding was bouncing off my head before his knuckles was. You know I'm, I mean? gonna, I'm gonna try and bring Frank Warren in. Frank, could you come around with get your microphone on, Frank, jump to bring over. you get, get Frank in? I know you've that got, performance made him 10 years younger. You, 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 hey, listen, he was jumping. I, I was listening to him, he was jumping around. It was like it was like a throwback tonight. What watching, watching Frank watching you do that, Frank? Um, it was. There have been some good nights over the years. Been some really good world title fight victories over the years. That's got to that's got to join the, That's got to join that's the shoulders, isn't it? Masterclass. It was the art of boxing, hitting and not being hit, and for a very high tempo, the pace. It was brilliant. It's one of the best performances I've seen for years by a British boxer in a ring. Absolutely boxing masterclass. Beat the number one flyweight in the world. He's the number one flyweight in the world now. How about that? We've got the number one heavyweight and the number one flyweight in this country. It's just brilliant. And he done, you know, I've got to tell you something, and I'm not over-exaggerating here, and Floyd Mayweather was a great, great fighter. I bet Floyd was watching that, he would say, what, what a fantastic performance. You know, the art of boxing, that's what it's all about. Smart, brave, you know, couldn't fault it. Absolute masterclass. I asked Sonny this question, I'll ask you, going into those last three or four rounds, were you worried or did you think, no, he's actually done this, he's, he's actually got to Marathi. What, <laughs> what was your gut feeling? No, well, look, look, the obvious thing was the fella's, you know, he's a puncher and he's a strong guy. And listen, he's no, you know, he is the number one. Yeah. And, you, and obviously you, you, you worry, but he takes a shot as well, don't you? I mean, he's, yeah. so he's only been on the floor twice. What was, my, my concern was that he would start trading with him because there was a couple of times he stood there with him. That was my only concern. <laughs> he was well, enjoying he it. Into it. You know, because he could, make, he, he could either have made it a hard fight or an easy fight, and he made it an easy fight. 
Now, here's the thing, and I'm going to say this to you, and I don't want, I don't want to take anything away from your victory, but I'm going to throw this out there to the pair of you. How would that have been that last round with 18,000 people in the O2? Uh, uh, How would it have been? I swear to you, I was thinking that is what's lacking, wasn't it? He deserved the accolade, all the people, you know, the crowd watching. I mean, it's great the viewers at home watching it. If it had been a filled up arena, could you imagine the atmosphere? I only sell 30 tickets, though. No, not, not true. So they say. You, so don't they say. Sell, you might sell them now. You don't sell 30 tickets now. Now, the, the other thing is, Sonny, I'm going to ask you this. Now, you've been you've been a terrific social media baby. You've been an I've absolute darling. And you, you've had people knocking your left, right and centre, and you've faced them, you face them up, you've, you confront them. Surely, I mean, have you got a message for the people that have been knocking you over the last two or three years, as well as the people that love you? No, because the beauty of all them people, they definitely tuned in tonight. They were probably at their TV with the record uh, reminder set before anyone that was supporting me, before my even sister and that lot. So <laughs> thank you for watching. I'm glad I put on a, a show. It was very, very hard. Mariti, a great champion. Um, you know, I guarantee that he still gets in there and gives some of the world's best nightmare. And I hope he does. I hope he don't bow out after that. I hope he has another go just so we can just so that puts to bed all the, oh, he's 72 years old and all them shouts. So, um, yeah, I mean, we, we got the belt now. Time for the big man to make the plans. Um, yeah, I'm happy. It's what I, what I came here for. Second oh. best, never good enough.